Hey, what's up guys? It's your man Foryam again back with a new quick guide for Minecraft. Iron is a precious resource for both the early and late game and sometimes it can be pretty tricky to get a proper iron farm up and running. In this short video, I'm going to show you a very simple yet efficient design which is going to give you all the iron you will ever need. So ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's get right to it. We're going to need a lava bucket, a water bucket, one chest, two hoppers, 24 walls, make sure they cannot burn, five slabs, three signs, and also three beds, which you can loot inside the village, any type of boat, six ladders, four lanterns, three trap doors, and also nine torches. All right, so what you're gonna do first is search for a nice flat area to build your farm. I definitely recommend you to do this right next to a village as right here, you will already find plenty of the resources which we're gonna need, including villagers and beds. What you wanna do next is take out your water bucket and get rid of all grass, which can be annoying. You're just gonna pour it out there, then scoop it up again. And it's also very important to look out for lower levels. For example, this one right here, because this can actually break the farm. I'm gonna talk about that in a second. But um, to begin with, we're gonna dig a little area of five by five. So three, four, five, two, three, four, five. And also dig it out too deep, two blocks high. That's perfect and good enough. So now you should have something that looks a little bit like this. That's all we need, nothing bigger. And uh, that's of course 50 blocks in total if we also count that one right there. And then what we're gonna do is fill in this area as well because the lower the Y level, the chances are higher that the iron golems will actually spawn in right there. And we want to prevent that at all times. Next up, you wanna choose a location where you wanna place your chest. I'm gonna do that exactly right there. So I'm gonna dig out one block and then two and also third. And then right here, we're gonna go up basically. So um, what we're gonna do is take out our chest, also the two hoppers. And first we're gonna place the chest exactly right there. And then we're gonna lead two hoppers right into it by crouching. And then we're gonna close up this block right here. And on the very opposite side, we wanna place some water. But first I'm gonna take my signs and we're gonna place one right above the hopper. Then another one right here and another one right there. So this can basically keep the lava in place so it cannot spread into our farm. You also want to turn these blocks into slightly lower blocks with a hoe. And then on the opposite side, we're going to place our water. So right now, if an iron golem does spawn in, well, he's going to have some serious problems with the lava, but let's get out of this pit before it turns us into crisp. So we're going to break that block. And right now the block should be inside our chest. Look at that. We're also going to cover this one up with a trap door so we can always collect our loot whenever we want. And then we're gonna take out our walls as well as the lantern so we can protect the farm from other creatures and of course not fall into it ourselves. Then we're gonna finish it up with four lanterns. So that's already half of the farm done. If you enjoyed this one, by the way, make sure to hit that like button, helps out the channel, but uh, let's finish it up, make it fully operational. So we're gonna take out our letters, also the beds, and um, we're basically gonna dig a little hole right here and make it seven deep. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh, we've got some water in here, no worries. So now we've got a place that looks a little bit like this. Three by three on both sides. Let me just quickly uh, take out a letter to show you exactly what I'm talking about. So three, four, five, six. And if we go down, we've got three in width, three in length, and also three in height. So this is gonna be the room for our zombie. We're gonna place six torches right there. And that's gonna be our area for the villagers. We're gonna place two more right there. And then we're gonna take our slabs. One, two, three. On this side, I'm gonna do one, two, and then we're gonna place a temporary block, place the trap door, open it up just like that. And um, that's basically the place where we're gonna place out our beds. And um, to do that, you wanna turn around 180 degrees because you wanna have the pillows facing the stairs, not the other way around because this can actually break the farm. So um, exactly like so. Then we're gonna jump onto this trap door again and close it because if we have a zombie right there, it, you basically want the villagers to sometimes break line of sight. They will not see the zombie and they will reset. So there's not gonna be any zombie fatigue. 
this actually happens with some farms and then they break entirely. So that's something that you want to prevent at all times. And then to finish up this thing, we're going to place our final trapdoor exactly right here. Now we only need to make this farm fully functional. So what we're going to do is dig out three trenches on the side right here. Because this is the place where we're going to let our villagers drop all the way down. One, two, three three so right now we can already see the beds uh, i'm gonna talk about that in a second and then we have one two three four five six blocks right here let's uh, place the oak boat exactly in the middle of the first four blocks and then it should be facing towards the trap but uh, right now what we're gonna need to do is take out our axe break all the beds in the village because otherwise these bad boys are not gonna turn up at the party some of the houses are quite empty, don't have any beds, but you want to make sure you break every single one of them. Of course, if you are not doing this near a village, you can just bring them inside with carts. That also is going to work like a charm. Okay, I think I've got every single one of them and just in time because the sun is setting. So what we're going to do right now is place the beds exactly like this. And then the pillow should be above the trench which we just dug. So if the villagers start sleeping in here, we can break the beds and they will fall into the pit. We also need to get a zombie inside this one. Of course, before this one is going to be fully operational, we also have to deal with every single iron golem in the village. If there is still one left, the farm will not work, so uh, make sure to kill that one first. I didn't find any, but as you can see, the villagers are already walking towards the bed. So what we can do right now is break every single one of them. One, two, and three. Oh, come on, this guy was being a little bit annoying. But uh, right now we can basically block this up and fill in the area down below. So uh, they're all sleeping, as you can see. We're quickly gonna jump on top of this block and make sure that this is entirely closed up. And uh, we're gonna close this one. Then for our final quest, we have to lure in a zombie. Look at that. Let's get the zombie to the boat. You're just gonna stand right behind it and then the zombie should walk inside. Now what we can do is um, go back to our basement and we're gonna stand right here and we're gonna dig out these blocks. So, uh, one, two, three, four, and there we go. So now the boat will fall in exactly right here and the villagers will start panicking. I'm just gonna take care of this hole. And, ooh, we already hear the iron golem. So it looks like um, he spawned in straight away. So let me just quickly fill up this pit and um, yeah, right now the farm should be 100% operational. As you can see, the iron golems are spawning in. They are taking the fire damage because of the lava. And then afterwards, once they die, all the loot will be gathered inside this chest. All right, look at that. We already got our hands on 39 iron and 10 poppies. So let me just get everything out of there and see how much we can get our hands on if we have cave for 20 minutes straight. Okay, so that's the sunrise again. Let's see how much iron we got our hands on in 20 minutes. So uh, that's one and a half stack and 29 poppies. So that's way much more than just 300 iron every single hour. So basically all the iron you will ever need in your survival world. All right, that's it for today's short guide. If you found this one helpful, make sure to smash the like button as it helps out the channel. And of course, if you want to stay in the loop with future videos, don't hesitate to subscribe. It is entirely free and a lot more is coming your way. Right now, I want to wish you an awesome day. Good luck building the farm. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.